All right, let's kick off with some of the more common appliances that everybody's gonna run, which is like the 12 volt stuff to give you an idea of what that sort of pulls. Now, I think uh, the 12 volt water pump in your caravan is gonna be the most power hungry 12 volt appliances, other than maybe a big charger that you plug in, right? So our pump is up here, we can turn our pump on. Let's have a look at our 12 volt loads, sorry, over here. And that currently at 3.2 if I turn that pump on all the way there you go it picks up to about nine amps so it's about six amps of current draw to run your 12 volt pump happy days um, the washing machine everyone wonders if you, it only works on 240 volt no it's really low current draw hey it doesn't take much so come in here um, all it does obviously it runs the water pump like that but it also runs power at the same time what you will have to do is turn the inverter on, dear. So oh. come over here. So say we want to use it. You just press that button. That turns the combi on under the seat down there, the 3000 watt inverter. You come in here. Um, have you got your stuff in there ready to go? All right, turn her on, dear. Yeah. There we go. So we'll come back and have a look. Here we are, common loads, 3.2. You can see as it pumps water in and it starts turning, it's still pulling under 10 amps. So nothing. That's the washing machine going. It hardly uses any power. I know when it is doing a full spin cycle, it pumps up to about 15 amps of current draw, but it doesn't spin for that long, right? Because it's only a two kilo washing machine. So really efficient and easy to use when you're off grid. So we use that flat out, mate. We run it all the time. We generally run out of water before we run out of battery power. So let's turn this on. We're currently pulling. I'll show you what a sandwich press makes on the back of here again. Look, it tells you. Uh, 750 watts. That one's a $9 special. That's a $9 on. special. <laughs> there you go. But if we turn it on, it goes straight to um, full noise. And I will. If you didn't know, oh, sorry. If you didn't know, the things that draw the most power in your caravan are either heating or cooling elements. So heating the most, cooling the second, and then charging is the next, right? That's the thing that draws the most amps. So let's have a look. Common loads, three amps. Turn that on. Let's have a look at what it wants to go up to when we crank it in. So it'll start charging up, house battery. There you go. It's pulling 40 amps out of the battery. If we have a look over here, it tells you the same thing. It'll also show you the wattage. 526 watts it's pulling out of the battery to heat that sandwich press up. Next one, the $9 toaster from Woolies. This we got Kmart, is it? We go all out, don't we dear? <laughs> Turn that one on, let's have a look. And up she goes, 16, oh, hang on, no. Jeez. You know you have to press this down before it works. Did you know that? Here we go. Go again, straight up. It's gonna use a lot there. It's gonna heat 580, 590. So there you go, just under 600 watts and 45 amps to run that. Here we go, next one. This one, our induction cooker. I don't know how many people, we've had thousands of questions of this thing over the years. We mainly, well, we used to always use it in the ute. Now we use it in here a lot um, because we've got the battery system to handle it. The more we use this, the less gas we use, right? Um, and we also, we put it down here and the kids make um, scrambled eggs and pancakes on it all the time. It's a good safety thing for them. Yeah, it's down low. Yeah. And it's also, it's not hot. Even when you're cooking, you take that off. It's hot to touch, but it's not going to burn you like a hot pan on a gas stove, right? So I'll plug it into this one and show you. The good thing about these is they're variable. So it's a 2000 watt induction cooker and they're safe. They will not turn on unless you've got an induction capable pot on top. So it'll register that, put this on, turn it on, go straight to 1300 watts. And then it should tell you, it should transfer exactly what's on this to over here. No. So let's see it build up. Cause I've got this set at 1300 if you have a look babe. Down here, there's 1300 watts. Let's just crank it up to 2000. That's the highest setting to like boil water and see what it pulls out of the battery. It also might take more if it's um if it's got food in it and stuff. So there you go, it's only pulling 1320 watts. But if we have a look, 101 amps, 101 amps out of the battery. So you don't want to be pulling that for too long. 
You know what I mean? And who does that? It only takes two minutes to boil water. Whenever we're cooking, the highest setting is usually about 1300 to 1600 watts, and uh, you're only using it for five or six minutes. So there you go. That's uh, Induction Cooker. That was only 59 bucks off eBay about three years ago. That's been one of our best purchases ever. Oh, yeah, Harris Scarf, sorry. But yeah, you can get them on eBay. Just look up Inabella 2000 watt cooktop. All right, let's see what it takes to pull a shot of coffee out of this machine. I've got a pot in there. Let's press the button. And away we go. It is cranking, look at that, up to about 1200 watts at peak and 91.7 amps at peak as well. So, like I said, it only uses the most power when it's heating. Look at that. Now it's done the heating part and it's pushing through. It's only pulling 13 amps. So yeah, you'd probably want a 2000 watt inverter to be able to run a coffee machine successfully. Oh, I just want to quickly show you, I've changed clothes because I forgot to do this the other day, but I want to show you what the aircon pulls, right? So super hot day today, about 32 outside, nice and warm. Uh, up here, I've got the aircon on the lowest setting, 16 degrees on the icy cool and uh, full fan speed. Now we'll swing over here. The EPRO is going to tell us that we're only using 15 amps of our battery power, which we are. Uh, so that's 15 amps just to run the aircon. But you know why? It's because we've got a heap of solar coming in. Look at that, 15.1 and 16. So we've got 31 amps of solar coming in, which is offsetting this. So normally that'd be pulling 46 amps, which is about right. So the aircon normally, once it's cooled down to its cycle, around anywhere from that 45 to 55 amps is what the aircon will pull. Now that's a Dometic Harrier. Other aircons will pull more or less, but I think in general terms, the only two you'd want to be able to run off an inverter, from my knowledge, are the Truma Aventa and the Dometic Carrier. Happy days. That's the aircon. Right, and the last thing I want to show you is how the system looks after itself. So the safeties, it will cut out if you try and pull too much current by using lots of appliances, right? So here we go. I've got the milk frother down here. I'm going to turn that on. I've got the aircon still running off the inverter. All right, and you come over here. It's pulling 76 amps off the battery now. Now I reckon this one might be the clincher. I'll start the kettle up like that. We're pulling 290 amps out of the battery. Uh, it's probably gonna want, oh, there you go, look at that. We're pulling 3,000, over 3,000 watts out of the battery system, it's still going. What else can we put on? Um, I reckon if we throw the hot water heater on, that'll trip it over. So we'll put that on. That still on, put the coffee machine on. Oh my, God. oh my God, it's still running. So at the moment, it's just oh, going to, there, there it goes. <laughs> So it took, it took us putting all those appliances on and it peaked at about 4,500 watts on the EPRO. And you hear that beeping? There you go. That's the alarm. It'll shut itself down. Now, there's no oh, like really hard way to reset it. All you do is press and hold the inverter combi control to turn it off. A couple of seconds. Uh, make sure all your stuff's turned off. Otherwise, it'll instantly try and trip it again. The but, uh, and the kettle off. Then all you have to do is press the button again beeps it turns back on and away we go it's back to normal so it's just like pretty much like an rcd or a safety switch in your house the inverter combi's got the same thing so it doesn't matter if you overdo it it'll just turn off and say too much man and you reset it and you're happy days